Hi guys, Philip here, and in this review, I'm looking at Rank Snap, and I'm going to share with you whether or not I think you should buy it, and I'm going to give you a few warnings here. Okay, so long story short, is Rank Snap uh, any good for beginners? Yes and no. Should you buy it? Yes and no. Okay, I want to give you some warnings here so you understand what you're getting into, because when it comes to manipulating and automating your SEO efforts, uh, does it work? Yes. Is it dangerous? Yes. Can you uh, be penalized? Yes. Can your web website uh, be destroyed? Yes. Okay. So keep watching. So I'm, I'm going to I'm going to share with you things with you here about Rank Snap and these types of services, uh, which you need to know so you understand the dangers of using them. Okay. So uh, what is Rank Snap? Rank Snap is effectively a software which will automate your link building and your citations and basically getting your uh, website and backlinks to your website out there. Okay. And it, automate, it, it automates the whole process, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, and the idea here is that you use this for local small businesses. So, you know, if you want to, you can use it to help local businesses uh, get more traffic by ranking better for local, local keywords. Okay, which is totally fine, right? You can, you know, this this sort of thing here, um, unfortunately, does work because it, because you're manipulating Google results. Okay, and they also have a feature which will uh, help to sort of crowd surf your listings. So you can put in a keyword and then. Um, here we go. Um, so we have examples here where they show you that you can put in a keyword and then their software will uh, simulate people searching in Google to find your listing, to click on it, to look at it so that um, uh, it will reduce your bounce rate so uh, that particular listing or that, that particular page for that particular keyword will rank higher. Okay. Now again, that does work, but guess what guys? By using the software, you are doing a couple of things. You are spamming you are manipulating the results. And most of the point, if you try and use this for a local business that's not yours, you are, can potentially destroy someone's business. Now I'll explain to you why, right? Um, because when you're using these types of services here, just like in the good old days, before uh, Penguin, before uh, Hummingbird, before all these Google, Google, Google algorithm changes back in sort of 2010, 2011, 2012, and so on, 2014, the good old days before was literally, the more backlinks you had, the better. And people created software like this, or like SE Nuke and so on, where you just spammed and got millions and millions of backlinks, right? And that was the way you ranked. That was the good old, the good old days. And so what happened is uh, people will create software like this, which simulate the same thing. But now things have changed, and now they're using different strategies. But it's effectively the same thing. You're spamming, okay? So I'll give you some examples here. Uh, first of all, I'll, I'll go over a few things here on sales page first, uh, like for example, this so-called proof, and I'll share with you why I think feel that's very flawed and misleading. All right, now if I come back down here to the demo video, uh, for example, um, I've lost it again here, here we go. So here's an example of what they do, right? And I'll press play here. So the idea is that you can use um, their campaign side to create uh, content uh, that you then spin and send out to uh, all their uh, you know, web web 2.0 properties, uh, their citation databases, and so on. And basically, just, they're spamming that article, spinning it, spinning it, spinning it, and sending it out to um, to make it look like your website's getting loads of links back to your articles, or whatever. So here you can see what they're doing is you can use this content creator to um, spin content. So the idea is that you choose the keyword, you choose the article URL, and you choose basically you, you create the content here. You then post it, and then uh, the software will go into Google and search for those keywords and find your article and pretend to be a reader, to pretend to be a real person looking at that article to, to decrease the bounce rate, to increase the page views, and to uh, effectively um, uh, uh, to tick that box of the Google algorithm, which is about the user engagement and how valuable and how long someone spends on that page. But the problem here, guys, is as you, can, as you can see, if you actually watch this and actually read the content they're creating, the content here is worthless because you cannot read it, okay? Um, and also, if I, if I pause the video here real quick, you can see here, um, and you're also creating and posting this, this content here on web 2.0 properties, you know, random social media platforms. Just, you can see, do you, do you recognize any of these platforms here? I've never heard of a single one of them, okay? They're just basically, they're, they're spamming, okay? That's what they're doing. Um, 
And so you're using a combination here of uh, crowd searching to uh, bump up your rankings and also you're spamming the spam content on multiple, multiple, multiple variations of databases, social platforms and just random websites out there, um, which guess what? Google, know, they know about those places. If I just play this here, uh, you, if you actually take a second and reach, I'll pause the video here and so you can actually read this content, right? Try and read it. Pause the video and just read what it says. This is what's being created. This article here is an article that's going to rank, for example, okay? Now, so uh, I'm not quite sure if this is the exact article ranks or if this is just for backlinking, but let's say for argument's sake, this is the article that you actually write and post in Google to actually try and rank, to get real visitors to come and see this. Who's going to engage with this? There's no pictures, there's no links, there's no call to action, there's no, you can't even read the content because this is gibberish, right? If you stop and read it, it doesn't, it doesn't, make, it doesn't make sense because it's a spam article which means that they're just taking random words and putting them together to make them unique, all right? Um, and so whether this is used for the real ranking or just for backlinking, it doesn't matter. It's, it's worthless crap. It's worthless content, right? So even if this does rank, if that's the purpose of it, no one who actually reads it who are real actually gonna engage with it or care. And because don't, don't forget guys, that the software they're using to bump up your rankings, those aren't real users. Those are just proxy automated systems that are just searching for you, clicking, clicking, they're bots, okay? So if you did use this strategy here to rank your video, what are you ranking? You're ranking nothing. You're ranking a worth, worthless piece of content that's never gonna bring you anything anyway, okay? Uh, so it's very important you understand this. So these here are used for uh, to create content, to spin it, and to post it inside the software and on your website so that you can then uh, use the software to, to manipulate the search results to bump up that ranking for an article that is worthless in the first place. This particular one here is using something called uh, the, key, the anchor text, or the keyword is reputation management, okay? And if I click here, you can see, uh, you are then encouraged to spin an article and then highlight the keyword and make an anchor text. Now, if you know anything about SEO, you'll know that uh, having um, building a, ba a database of, of um, highly keyword-rich anchor texts is it can damage or will damage your SEO because that's one of the big updates in the Penguin algorithm. And if you actually read, can you if you uh, can pause it here? I'll try and zoom in if I can. If you read this text here, this is what's being spun and sent out. Okay, can you read this and see that this makes no sense? A lot of it is like the wording is all wrong. And so it's just spun automatically generated content. Okay, so this is what's linking back to your site, right? Now, if you don't mind this, go for it. But please be aware, guys, you are going to heavily damage your business in the long run. And more importantly, if you sell this to an actual, a, a real local business, you can potentially just destroy someone's business. A real person who's working nine to five or whatever in their restaurant, in their cafe, in their consulting business, and you can potentially destroy their business. Why? Because guess what? In a year from today, in two years from today, in five years from today, Google will continuously change their algorithm. And when they see that people are still using these types of methods, even though it's a slightly different method, guess what? They're gonna blacklist that website and destroy its rankings. And you will be solely responsible for destroying someone's business. Do you understand that, right? So when you actually come, you know, all these here are on the sales page, right? Watch these and think to yourself, do you really wanna be one of those guys who manipulates to get results? Do you want to be one of those guys who, uh, who cheats the system to get results? Or would you rather just follow some simple SEO guidelines and do what's right, right? Because you can see here, with a few clicks, you can build this massive backlog of multiple bookmarks, multiple backlinks for, you know, it's, 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 it's pure spam, guys, you're spamming, okay? Now, let's have a look at the so-called proof they have, okay? They have all this, this screenshot proof up here. And I want to show you guys something here. So, uh, come up here, and you can see all these keywords here. Um, and uh, they claim that these guys rank and so okay, and they, some, of these, some of these do rank, okay, they, they do actually rank, but I wanna show you the keywords themselves, right, so you understand what the thing here is. So they keep, uh, for example, best nail shape for fat fingers, and they say, look, there's high competition. And I'm like, well, not really, okay. Uh, if I, just gonna bring up my list of keywords that they had, uh, here we go, so best, um, best nail, um, there we go, uh, just paste that in there. So, best nail shape for fat fingers. Is that right? Best nail shape for fat fingers, yes. Uh, best nail shape, okay, so you can see here, uh, according to Jaxi, which is a keyword research tool I use, uh, there are only 104 searches a month, and it's not, it's a, it's a very low competitive keyword. 
basically any keyword that has less than 100 competing websites is considered a, a, a good to go keyword where you can you know, rank for that. Okay, so you can see this is not a highly competitive keyword. If I go to Uber Suggest here, search for it here as well. Um, obviously, every keyword will give different results because they, they all use different very, uh, sort of um, uh, ranking metrics. But you can see here again, best na uh, nail shape for fat fingers. A large uh, this shows that shows a much larger search volume. But you can see the the sort of the um, the SEO difficulty here is super low, right? The higher the number, the more competitive. This is twelve. So um, it means that if you just wrote a normal article without any manipulation, you'd still rank for that keyword most likely, right? Um, here we have a birthday party crafts. Okay, so like that birthday party crafts. The same principle here, guys. Okay, it's a case of if I come in here and search for it here, uh, just paste that in there and go back to Uber Suggest, do the same thing. Okay, like and again, like I said, depending on the country you're searching in and so on, it will give different results uh, if you're using the keyword uh, keyword planner or you know keywords everywhere or Jaxi or Uber Suggest. They all give different results, but this the, the, you get an overall feel, right? So we can see here again. Birthday party crafts, 75 searches a month, which is not a lot, which is totally fine. Uh, and again, the, 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 the competition here is very, very low. Okay, here, this one here shows uh, 808 searches a month. Again, the keyword research here, so it is, is not a particularly difficult keyword to rank for. Okay, um, and if you actually search for uh, this uh, here, this person here is actually ranking on the second or third page now. So her, her ranks have dropped down. Okay, and so the point here I'm trying to make is that. Um, these keywords they're ranking for here aren't really, you know, they're not difficult keywords to rank for. You don't need to use this tool to rank for those, right? Um, and so when it comes to SEO, guys, you need to understand, go to places like SEMrush, okay, and research uh, the whole idea of, of anchor texts that they're, they're showing you how to do, okay? Go to uh, places uh, like um, Moz, SEMrush, Href, okay, and, you know, read what they're saying about SEO, right? And what you're going to find is the more you manipulate, the more you basically cheat Google to thinking that you're getting more, loads of bank links or loads of searches or loads of whatever, the higher the chances of you destroying a website because guess what? YouTube and Google, they change their algorithms every single day, okay? And back in 2010, 2011, 2012, when Panda and Peng Penguin and Hummingbird came out to the Google, Google algorithms, they, they ruined probably millions of websites just disappeared overnight because those were the worst offenders. They were the ones who were spamming thousands and thousands and thousands of backlinks, okay? Now things have changed, right? And Rank Snap, even though it will help you, right? So if you wanna buy it, go and buy it. But you have to understand, guys, there's a limit to what you can achieve here because at some point over the next year, two years, three years, four years, whatever they're showing you here will have a detrimental effect on your website because if you don't use this correctly, you will destroy your site. Okay. And a good example here is the fact that they're showing you in their demo video, and if I can find it again, I keep losing it. Uh, they, they show you in their demo video here to basically use incredibly very rich anchor text keywords, right? Which if you use here and there, it's totally fine. But a beginner is gonna come in here and go, okay, cool, wow, I'm gonna put in loads of keywords and you're gonna get penalized because Google are gonna see A, that you're using way too many uh, keyword rich anchor texts, B, that you're using spun content, because guess what, Google can tell, okay? And C, they're gonna see that your articles and links are coming from extremely poor quality web 2.0 properties, weird databases, weird random blogs that are just spammed with thousands of blog posts every month, okay? That's what you're linking to. All right, uh, because as you can see here, if I scroll forward here again, these links are not natural because when you actually read the content that you're creating here, uh, see if I can find it again. When you actually read the content you create here, you can see this, it, you can't read it because it doesn't make sense. There are so many words and phrases that don't belong, right? And so you need to be super careful with this, right? Now, will the software work? Yes. Can, will, can and will this help your ranking? Yes, but only in the short term. Can, can you destroy your website using this? Yes. Can you ruin somebody else's website by using this? Yes. Do you think the creators of this website, this, um, do, you do you think the creators of RankSnap care about any of that? Most likely not, right? They're here to sell the software, nothing else, all right? Um, and if you use your common sense, and if you actually search for these keywords, right, all these keywords are showing you here, some of them rank, some don't. But the point being that um, uh, if you, try and rank for a keyword, uh, if I come down here again, 
if you try and rank for a keyword, um, like for example, you know, best nail shape for fat fingers and so on, if there's low competition and there's no search volume, you can rank, okay? And so if you go through here, you can see that this is the, the sort of the cream of the crop. This is the best results they have. And most of them are either not there or they're not ranking at all, or the keywords just simply are not competitive, right? You can see here the next one, electric heat pad for neck control, that's the last one of the keywords. Again, the, the ranking is no longer there and the search volume is super low and um, the, the, there's, less, there's, there's 50 competing uh, websites. Okay, So it's a very low competitive keyword in the first place. And so if you actually go and do some research, guys, use your common sense. And uh, I'll show you here. If you, if you want to learn how to do actual normal, honest SEO, right? Um, you can see here from my uh, search console here, I'm ranking, I'm magneting thousands and thousands and thousands of clicks to my site, okay? I do no backlinking, I do no cheating, I do no citations, I do no nothing, okay? No bookmarking, no bullshit, I just write, I follow the 10 point plan that I've learned about, about, about ranking articles and that's it, okay? And you just work your ass off and you, you work. Okay, there's no magic, there's no secret software, there's no bullshit, okay, um, because that's the re reality of SEO, right? So when it, comes to soft when it comes to software like this, guys, do they work? Unfortunately, they will. But believe me and trust me when I say that they are going to destroy you long term because Google will clamp down on these, rank snap 3.0, rank snap 4.0, rank snap 5.0, they'll continue to evolve and change. Uh, and in the wake, they will leave hundreds of websites ruined. Uh, but they'll keep uh, moving forward, keep changing their algorithms and moving along with times. And uh, unfortunately, uh, most people will simply have their business destroyed, right? Um, and uh, if you don't believe me, uh, Google, uh, search in Google for uh, Matt Cutts, search for um, Neil Patel, search for uh, Rand Fishkin, search for Moz, search for SEO, uh, SEO Rush, and see what these guys say. They say, don't manipulate Google, don't cheat, don't use, for example, here you can see the anchor, anchor text definition, and if you come down here to best practices, um, uh, you can see down here, uh, with the pen Penguin algorithm, Google began to look closely at key uh, keywords in anchor text. If too many of the site's inbound links contain the exact same keyword, right, it starts appearing suspicious, okay? So what do you think is gonna happen when a beginner comes here and puts in all these keywords that they wanna rank for without realizing the long-term damage they're doing to, to their site? What do you think is gonna happen, okay, in the long run? They'll destroy the rankings. So, with that man, guys, that's my review of uh, Rank Snap. Uh, if you want to buy it, go for it, all right? There'll not be an affiliate link in my description because I do not want to promote something like this. Uh, but if you do, good luck to you because you're going to need it. And uh, I'll speak to you all real soon. Cheers, guys.